A major cybersecurity breach at 23andMe led to personal information for millions of people going up for sale on the dark web. And many of the victims were Jew of Jewish ancestry. Consumer investigator Steve Sprecia is getting some answers about how this happened and then, of course, how you can protect yourself. The names, locations, and ethnicities of millions of 23andMe users went up for sale last week on the dark web following the data breach, which the company confirmed in an online statement. It says it's hired third-party forensic experts to see how much damage was done, but security experts are worried. It appears at this point it's just the names, addresses, and perhaps ethnic origins that are out there for sale. That's the original information, yeah. So that's, that's not so bad. But uh, if it's DNA inform information, it's going to be real bad. Your DNA information can be used in so many negative ways. Um, you know, we're seeing nation states trying to collect DNA information and potentially create weapons uh, that are specifically against uh, DNA. There are steps that you can take to make that information more secure on your end. Don't sign up for all the public sharing your information to like find new relatives because that that lets them leverage your information to look for other information. Hackers who posted the stolen information on the dark web say it contains at least one million data points relating to Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. Hackers use stolen passwords to access 23andMe's DNA relatives feature and the company's advising customers reset your passwords. There's 12 combinations, email and password combinations that are in the wild from the last 10 years of 710 different breaches. And the hackers have this information. To protect yourself, change your passwords every 30 to 90 days. Use different passwords on different accounts and don't trust emails asking for passwords. Federal agencies are also involved in the investigation into what happened. Meanwhile, 23andMe is trying to put systems in place to prevent another attack from happening. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprague.